Travel through the West at the time would be of two major categories. One is traveling on rivers. Um, if you're traveling on the river, there's any number of types of, of boats or watercraft that you would use, ranging from small canoes all the way up to flat boats. Um, rivers are the way that you can move anything of size or substance. Rivers are the way you can move relatively quickly. The other mode of travel would be overland, and that generally included having to cross the mountains, which was very tough and hard to do even with a wagon, um, even by horseback. Um, the Cumberland Gap became a means by which you could get a wagon and a family in their possessions over the mountains. Otherwise, you would have to go as far south as what today would be northern Georgia to get under the mountains. Um, the Appalachians were a formidable barrier. Um, traveling in the West was dangerous because there is, at any moment, you can be attacked. Um, Indians could be at attacking you um, by ambush. So whether you were on the river or traveling overland, the fear of ambush um, is, is great. The other dimension that I would mention, particularly um, as we talk about Clark in the Illinois country, is how waterlogged it was. I mean, this is prior to draining any of the land in what's now southern Illinois um, or um, southeastern Missouri. And in, in that period of time, this is a water world. Uh, you have the confluence of the, 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 the Tennessee and Cumberland rivers empty into the Ohio River. Just a few miles away from that, the Ohio empties into the Mississippi River. Not too far above that, both the Illinois River and the Missouri River empty into the Mississippi. So if you look at this on a map, it's a water world, and all the area around there for much of the year was inundated by water. Um, and famously, Clark's expedition later on to Vincennes in February of 1779 entailed marching through, at times, chest-high water um, because there were no roads. There couldn't be roads in this area that flooded so frequently.